Welcome back to my channel where we go from depressed to impressed through beauty, self-confidence, and lots of self-love. Today, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how I got this full coverage glam look. Now, this look can be worn all year round, but it definitely can be worn this holiday season. You can mix and match this look, like you can swap out this lipstick color with a red, with a, a berry color. You can also swap out the blue liner for a white liner or a black liner. It's totally up to you, but today I'm going to be showing you how I got this full, full look. If during or by the end of this video you find it helpful, or find my weird sense of humor funny, then consider hitting the like, the subscribe, and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Now, with all that being said, let's go from depressed to impressed. Open up the window, feel that Like always, we have to make sure we moisturize our face and make sure we take care of our skin. So I'm first going in with my Skin Veda Ashwamilla Toner. I believe that's how you say it. So we're going with this toner right here. Ooh, this feels nice. All nice and cold. Next, I'm going in with my Nonco Tea Tree Emulsion. I'm going to go ahead and put some of that going to really bring moisture into my face. And earlier I did put some lip balm on my lips because they're feeling extra, extra dry. And I used the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm and it's a watermelon balm. Oh, it smells bomb. Haha, <laughs> no uh, pun intended. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Lastly, I'm going to be using this Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream looks like this, making sure this is all nice and hydrated. I noticed that when my eyes are all nice and hydrated, creasing like just doesn't happen as much as when I don't moisturize it. it doesn't look as like cracked and cakey. Now we can go ahead and prime our face before we put on our foundation. And I'm using two primers today. I'm using the Tula Skincare Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. Next, going in with the Pore Professional Pore Primer by Benefit. Absolutely love this, and I will say it every time I use it. Really get it on my nose and right here on my cheeks. Not gonna lie, I I put a lot of this on my face. I just feel like it really blurs things out. Blurs out all the imperfections. For foundation today, I really wanted something more glowy. I'm using the Born This Way Matte Foundation. Now this is really matte. So I'm going to mix my Iconic Illuminator. And you just put like a couple drops of this. And it gives your skin a more like glowy finish. So I'm just going to add like about maybe two drops into this foundation. And I'm going to put it on my candle lid. Listen, it's gross. I understand. But don't judge me, okay? We're, just, we're gonna mix it on this, all right? So just bear with me, all right? So I put some foundation and adding about like two drops. And I'm using my Sigma Flak Pookie F80 brush. And I'm just applying that all over my face. Make sure you get your neck. Now I'm just gonna blend this all over. And to smooth everything out, I'm using my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. I don't know if you can see, but it definitely gave it some kind of kind of glow because it was a little too matte for me. I wanted something more. Yeah, do you see that? Ooh. It's going to add a little more foundation onto my nose. Try to get that really on there. And I'm just applying this like really light-handed. Next, I'm going in with a concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. And I'm in the shade Light Sand. And I'm in the shade Vanilla in my foundation. Just going to brighten up a little bit down here. And just start blending. Blend. 
then the way. I'm using the brush Sigma Precision Round P82 brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. Now, once I got that in there, I'm going to use my sponge and blend that out to really make sure it's in there. Ooh, that adds so much brightness, and then blend everything else out. Now we can go on to sculpting our face. I'm using the Fenty Beauty uh, Match Sticks and it's in the color Truffle. It's going to contour right here, right here. Excuse me, earring. I'm trying to work. And then on your nose. And under here. I'll be blending this out with my MAC 224 SE brush. Obviously, I'm just going to contour the small parts with this. And just imagine doing all of my face with this little teeny tiny brush. I'd have no patience. And then underneath your lip. Now, the bigger brush for the rest of our face, not that little, you know, teeny tiny brush. I'm using my Sephora Flawless Airbrush 56. Looks like this. And just gonna be blending that out. Push upwards and circle motions and upwards. Like really pressing into the bone. Yo, bro, I'm trying to get in there. You know, let, let, me, let me get in there. Let me contour your face. Switch hands and work on the other side. These darn earrings, but they're so cute. Okay, now your forehead. Or maybe in my case, no, I have a forehead, not a five head. Okay, not that there's anything wrong if you have a five head. This is a, a positive channel. If you got a six head, seven head, eight head, shoot. If you got a 10 head, that's a winner. Now that we are all contoured, we can go ahead and bronze our face. I'm using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I just absolutely love this color. It is so stunning. And I'm using this big, big brush. Let me look at this thing. This thing is massive. It's like almost the size of my face. Just kidding, my face is huge. Um, I'm using this big powder bronzer brush. I go ahead and put some on my brush and just go in. And I'm not putting this directly on where we contoured. I'm putting this a little bit above. Switch hands for the other side. Forehead. I always like to bring it down just in case, you know, so it just like matches properly. I like to look really bronzed. I tend to not be shy. Don't be shy with your bronzer. It's okay. Look extra. It's all right. I'm going to set my under eyes and I'm using my banana setting powder to do so. And this is in the color medium. And if you're like me, you'll open up the package and it'll just get everywhere and you'll waste almost all of it. So congratulations, you're like me if you did that. Okay, just take some on your brush and go ahead and put that underneath your eye. Wow, that is very yellow. I guess it's been a while since I've used this. All right, well, we're, we're looking like a like some kind of different alien today. All right, we're doing it. Well, we're gonna let that bake just a little bit. I'm going with my Tarte um, Shape Tape Setting Powder and gonna apply that where I get very oily. So that's gonna be my nose and my forehead, and my chinny chin chin. And I'm just gonna wipe this actually from underneath my eye. Yeah, that's really yellow. How to ruin your makeup look, 101. Just look like an Oompa Loompa. So I knew like a trend, like the trend was for it to look really white underneath, but hey, we're going for something new. Look really yellow underneath. Like that's the new big thing. I, I just made it, you know, just, it's the new Oompa Loompa look. Like but that, that's a new trend. It's funny because something told me, don't use that, that looks a little too yellow. But you know, the devil in me is like, no, do it, it's gonna look great. And then like the little angel's like, no, Nina, you shouldn't do it. Like, it's gonna look really bad, it's really yellow. No, you should really do it, it's gonna look great. Oompa Loompa's in style. All right, let me stop, let's put some blush on. All right, so the blush I'm using is by Tarte and it's Parte. This color is absolutely stunning. I'm using my Morphe M105 brush. 
and just apply that on the apples of my cheeks. And this goes on really light, so I just like to build up on it. Now I need some highlight up in here, so I'm going to use this Estate, and it's called Do Me by Baked Highlight Powder. Ooh, look at this. Look at this highlight. And I'm using the Morphe M510 brush and just going in. Ooh. Ooh. Looking like a Christmas snack. Santa Claus on the cookie. Oh, yeah. That looks very pretty. So some right here on your forehead, just a little bit. Some right here on your nose, above your lip. Yes, we are all nice and highlighted. For eyebrows, I'm using this e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And you know what? So far, I am loving this pencil. It was only about, I think, six bucks. And all right, e.l.f., I, I, I like you. I'm just gonna groom it a little bit. I'm not one to give myself like killer, killer eyebrows. I like more natural eyebrows, so I just like to like fill in where I'm missing hair or where it looks all, all kookity coo. Draw a little bit of a, a tail there because I'm missing hair at least on this one. I don't know what happened to this eyebrow at birth. It just, I don't know, it just decided it didn't want to be normal. Like my hairs like go up this way so like i have to go up this way and i love the eyebrows that like go curved that way and a lot of like i don't know i feel like a lot of trends like they go upward this way and they say don't do your eyebrows like that but i'm like but my eyebrows do go that way so i'm working with what i got okay eyebrows are all filled in and i'm going in with my tinted brow gel and this is by anastasia and this is in the color espresso Oh, and this was in, I think, like the dark dark brown for the, the actual pencil. I'm just putting this all over. Now we can get started with the eyeballs. I always love saying eyeballs. I just think it's low-key funny. Okay, to start, I'm using my Prolong Wear Paint Pot by MAC. And just applying that on a brush and going all in and priming my eyeballs. Eyelids, eyeballs, same thing. And I kind of use this to help clean up my eyebrows as well. And then I take my finger to really blend it out, to really get it in there. Switch hands and do the other side. I'm going to be using two palettes today. And I'm going to be using this little shimmer cream eyeshadow. The first color that I'll be going into is Totally Fond of You. And I'll be using my Morphe M505 brush. And I'm applying this to my crease and a little bit above my crease as well, like right there on the bone. And just keep applying to build that color. And you can use tapping motions, windshield wiper motions, and circles just to make sure it's really blended. Now next color, we're going to go into the Too Faced Pumpkin Pie Spice Palette, and we're going into Sweetie Pie. Oh, and if I didn't mention before, the palette that we used was the Milani Pure Passion. That's the palette that we were using before. So now going into that color, we're using the Morphe Jeffree Star JS6 brush, and just applying that on the outer corner. We're really, really getting that all up in there. And once you feel like there's nothing left on your brush, you can go ahead and blend that, your inner lid. So make sure just to apply that color, get it all nice and deep, and just start blending away. Next color that we're gonna use is back in the Milani palette, and I'm using Spice It Up. And the brush I'll be using is the Morphe M507 brush. We're applying this on the outer corner. Now listen, I said outer corner. So that means out of corner, don't be going in and bringing it like, you're gonna ruin the whole look if you don't listen to me. I said out of corner, all right? You got it? Okay, outer corner. So like, just like right here. Now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. Um, this is the Morphe M535 brush and I'm gonna make sure it's clean and just kind of blend everything out to make sure there's no rough edges. Ooh, it's kind of like matching my earrings. I'm living for it. 
Now still using the Milani Pure Passion, I'm going into the Sunsets by the Beach and I'm using this Luna Magic brush, looks like this, and this is going to be applied like this much right here to really like blend in these colors right here and add like a pop of color. And you can kind of blend these two colors together by going like this to mix these together. And a little bit at the top as well. Ooh, look how gorgeous this is coming out. It's coming out real gorgeous. Hey, cutie pie. What you doing for Christmas? My flirting game. It's not strong, clearly. Imagine if someone just came up to you and was like, Hey, gorgeous. What you doing for Christmas? And just like said it just like that. Yeah, okay. Right before I add that shimmer color, I'm just going to blend like everything that's here together with that using that Jeffree Star brush and just kind of really mixing those colors there like so. Now this is a Studio Makeup Endurance Cream eyeshadow. This this is such a pretty like bam sprinkle sparkle color. I think it's gorgeous. So it's like comes with this applicator and I'm just going to apply it in the inner corner and bring it like a little bit towards the middle. Just apply that all over. And then I'm going to use this Morphe M124 brush to blend that out. And when it's on top of other colors, oh, it is so pretty, especially on blues. That's another look I can do. Or on purples, oh, it's just, it's a pretty color, gold. So on this like pinky color, it's really nice. I'm just gonna add a little bit more for like up here. Ooh. All right, whoopsies. Looks like we're gonna have a lot here. Take my finger and just really bring it out there. The universe wanted me to sparkle today. Okay, I'm really liking that. And then especially with lashes, oh, that's going to be gorgeous. Now for eyeshadow underneath, we're gonna go a little light since we are putting that blue underneath, like the blue crayon underneath our eyes. So I'm first going in with Totally Fond of You in the Milani palette. And I'm using my Morphe M321 brush and just applying that all underneath. Now we can put the blue liner and I'm using this Mary Kay at Play eye crayon and it's in Teal Me More and it looks like this. I just thought it would be so festive, like the blue would just like really pop like the color. Really pop the color? Really? It really pop of color, really add a pop of, it would add a pop of color. That's, that's what I was looking for. So just go ahead and add that to your waterline. See, I just think it's like, whoa. I think it just adds so much to the look. And especially like once you put lashes on, it's just like, bam. I just love adding my, like my lashes because I just think it really adds to the look. Okay, so speaking about lashes, we're gonna put some some falsies on. So first, I'm gonna go in with my I'm gonna go in with my mascara, and this is the Essence Lash Princess, hands down, one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. I'm just gonna apply that. The lashes that I'll be using today look like these. I don't know the name of them, just like I don't know any of the names of my lashes because I literally just put them in a box. So that's what we got today, is these lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on and I'll be right back. Lashes are on. Oh, see, doesn't it really change the look? And I also went ahead and put mascara on my bottom lashes. So now we can go ahead and work on the lips. So to line my lips, I'm going to use the Everlasting Lip Liner Lolita the Second by Kat Von D and it is such a pretty color and I also have the matching lipstick see so 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 pretty let's go ahead and put this on our lips my lips are beyond dry right now I listen yeah they're dry I get it it's yeah that, that that's what's going on like I've done a scrub I've been putting moisturizer I've been I've been doing everything and I don't I don't know it's just crack 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 Now I can go ahead and put the lipstick on.
Now, what I love about this look is I feel like you can wear this all year round, really. You can even substitute the blue with some like white or even black. I, I'm, I'm digging this look. Now, I just want to add a little bit of some shine. So I'm using this Revlon um, gloss. It's called Snow Pink. It's like this. And I'm just adding this to like the center. Now we can't forget our setting spray. So I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Mm. Oof, that always helps me like know that I'm finished. Like I did it, the look is complete. Yay, that took me about five hours to do. Yay, it's done. Do you ever feel that way? I know I do. And there you have it, warriors. This is the final and completed look for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Now, before you click off and say goodbye, I just want to do a little mantra with you. And this is something that I've been doing with myself each and every day for the past, like, I'm going to say a month because it's really been helping me, right? So I want you to take your hand and put it on your heart. Heart, 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 yes. <laughs> I want you to say, I deserve better, I deserve more. So I will give myself better, and I will give myself more. This really helps me, you know, really tell myself that I do deserve better, and that I should strive for more, and that I shouldn't strive for less, that I am capable of getting more, and that I should strive for more. All right, warriors, remember that you are a warrior and that you are capable of anything. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Don't think about it. Don't think about it.